answer is hopefully you know me, but I certainly hope you know Stefan. Her and I are going to show you what we talk for our weekly class here at Nick's. This is actually something a friend of mine showed me years ago. So in honor of him, I've named it after him. Bring it back every year because it's such a cool move. It's a quick move. It's a repeatable move. So we'll show you how to do it. You use it. After the sugar push, you're going to want to take a left to left hand hold with your partner. Now, how you wish to do that when you social dance or whatever, great. But for the sake of the class, at the end of the sugar, as she's doing her five and six leaders, just take your left hand and put it in hers. Okay? That's how this is led. So going for the first part, left to left, I'm moving over to her left on the rail. Two walks, two walks, prep her to her right on the second step, and I just get out of the way by moving over more to my right. So going this way, after the sugar push, I'm already moved over, and I say prep, prep. So again, get out of the way, give her plenty of room so she has time to go by. Because on the next count, she's doing a triple step. So we're going to already switch hands. So one, two, she's going to do her three and four. Three and four. Now, Stephanie's on her right foot because of her four. I'm on my left, and I'm also turning towards her, getting ready to do something. I just don't want to stand back and let her go by me. I need to do something to get ready for that fourth count. So this direction, at the end of five and six, switch hands. So one, two, three, and four. And what I'm looking at is her right hand, because that's what I need to use for my right hand as to connect with it. So now we're going to do the five and six. And then show you how to get into it. So after the sugar push, switch hands. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So there's a lot going on there. So what Stephanie's doing is for five and six, leaders, you're doing most of the work on this next triple. Left to left. One, two, three, and four. Now I know it's hard to stop, but she's on her right foot. I'm going to take my right hand on top of her right hand, over grip for five and six. And I'm turning a full turn to my right. So it's better to see it front to back. So one, two, three, and four, five, and six. And as I'm coming around, I'm picking up her left hand with my left hand. So let's go this way. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Six, I pick up her left. So it transitions into the next part. And what you're wanting to do is, on the next part, is make her start walks on the next one, too. So we're just going to add the two walks after the triples. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two. And if you notice, I'm pulling her forward. And she's not anchoring on that six count. So I want the move to continue. Because all we're doing after that, we're just repeating the same count. So after the trigger push, I'm going to switch hands. So one, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Two, three, and four. It can be done many times as you want. I get dizzy, so I only go twice. So in front to back. Again, switch hands left to left. Center through. Top grip. Pull it through. Over grip. Send it through. You can do it again and again and again if you want. One more time this direction. But it's just a fun, continuous movement. Left to left. So one, two, three, and four. Bring her forward. One, two, three, and four. Bring her forward. Two, three, and four. Five, six. I'm dizzy. So anyway, that's a cool move. Named after a very good friend of mine, Randy. So it is the Randy. Thank you, my dear. Hope you like that, guys. It's one of my favorite ones. I've done it for a very, very, very long time. Brought it back first time this year. So, hope you like it. Click subscribe for a free video every week. Till next time, have a great week. Keep dancing.